Spell Rain is described as an indie strategy RPG, but it feels a lot like a horde survival game roguelike, kind of like vampire survivors and that type of genre. We're going to go ahead and start game. I actually went through the tutorial already, which unlocked a very small starting area with uh, a couple of shopkeepers and they'll allow us to get some upgrades and things like that but first i'll show you the premise of the game start off in a little level where the waves of enemies will start coming to you and you have a basic weapon that will allow you to shoot i think it's called magic bullet at the bottom left you'll see that i have a few different uh, slots for abilities as well as some health and some mana the enemies will drop gems or crystals or whatever you want to call them uh, and also other resources like you saw that that spike that looking thing I don't know if it's a spike or a vampire tooth or whatever vampire bat tooth But um, basically what these allow you to do is Craft and uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. I haven't actually done that. I just barely briefly Looked at the uh, the overlay here But when you kill enough enemies after a little while it says a door to the shop has appeared and that's what we're going to be looking for. I'm going to just empty out my mana as I kite these guys back and go towards the um, go towards the shop here. I actually am not really sure where the shop is. I do want to get this though because that is a fireball spell. And let's see what it does. Okay. It's basically the same. It's a projectile weapon, but it does give me uh, a a pretty new bolt it does a little bit more damage than my magic bolt too need to find the door to this shop uh, which is going to allow me to, to spin some of these hard-earned gems that I'm I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gathering here and this is a lot of gems I know I'm missing some of them but kind of trying to explore and find stuff at the same time okay we reached the corner of the map where in the world is this shop y'all Hmm. I think I'm just going to make my way around the perimeter, even though they're usually, from what I've seen in previous levels, they're usually like in the middle of the uh, the world here. They sure are building up. There's a lot of creatures here. I need like an AoE or something so that I can actually, uh, that I can actually take them out quick. There's a few spells that probably do that for me. Do I just follow the path here? Maybe the path will bring me uh, to, to the shop. It, it, it definitely bring me to more crystals, which is good, though. Uh, right now, we have 333. From what I've seen in the past there... Yeah, there's the portal. They're, uh, they're in multiples of 50, you know? 75, 50. Okay, so it looks like they're in multiples of 25. And what you could get is you can upgrade or you can get uh, multiple. So first we're gonna get the dash. The dash is gonna go in the space bar here and then we can start to upgrade our stuff. Ice shotgun is pretty good because it's AOE. Let's get that. I'm actually not sure what, um, what, what, what key that is. Maybe enter? I'm not sure. Maybe it's middle mouse button. I don't know. I'll see. We could probably change that in the settings though. You can also re-roll your shop if you want to. Uh, you know, I can upgrade magic shot here and I can also upgrade my fireball and that spends just about all of my money, but That's a pretty good bit of upgrades. Okay, let's get in and let's see what this is Ah, Okay, it's actually shift <laughs> That makes sense. So it does a very little bit of damage, but it does go wide, which is pretty nice so I haven't seen if there's the ability to do any kind of synergies and stuff, but I think there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that opens up when I start getting into crafting here. Let's see if I can wipe out this. You can also heal in the shop. I forgot to show that off. There was like a, a little, um, I guess you could spend like a hundred mana or something like that. Okay, let's try on these blue guys. I think it's probably best to use the uh, the burning spell. That way, they kind of uh, <laughs> they kind of take some damage over time while I work on all of their other friends. But I tell you what, you start getting overwhelmed really quick. That was my dash. I think I'm going to try my best to get through all of this. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, I'm starting to get a little low on health here. And you can see I'm, I'm accumulating quite a bit of resources here. I'm going to try to hang on as, as long as I can, but I do believe that when you die, you know, you pretty much get the chance to, to you know, upgrade, get your stuff together. Let's... Ah, uh, okay, so I can show you the heal now. <laughs> so the heal cost 50, and you can come to this fountain and just heal, and it looks like you heal 10. So it did cost quite a bit of, uh, of, of money, but... So we could get lightning, we could get dash level 2, we can get another fireball, we could get another ice shotgun. Let's get the ice shotgun here, and I do think that I'm going to upgrade my health one more time. Now we're at full health again back at 41 bucks but uh we'll be able to do pretty good here i think all right let's gather up some of these resources let's see how far we can get oh yeah i said i was gonna use oh that has a little bit of aoe on it too so how much ice spike how much is my ice spike doing now nine six the shotgun, the shotgun's pretty good. But these guys are a little bit tanky, man. I think what I'll try to do is get some of this AoE fire. Oh, now this red slime's appearing? <laughs> okay. We just got used to the blue ones, dude. Seriously. And I'm low in health again. Yeah, you could you could you could tell that meta progression is going to be very very important here. So I was kind of forced. Let's see what I can do. So we'll go back to hub and let's talk to the two NPCs that were here. So I believe this guy allows us to craft. Do you have any new materials I can use? So if we take a look at crafting, we'll see that we can get upgrades to our wands. Invincibility, life steal chance, enemies drop more money, and skull wand, whatever that is. Okay, so that takes bones. This takes a resource that we don't have. This we have plenty of. This gives a life steal chance. This also, invincibility, increases the period of invincibility after being damaged. Full shit set pushes enemies away when damaged. Um, a chance for cooldown to reset when defeating an enemy. This is have a dragon familiar fight alongside of you. This sounds really cool, but I don't have any of those resources. So it might be those red slimes that we were looking at. Let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade here. There's no full set bonus for this. So I think we're going to go with the, uh, let's go with the, the, the lifesteal guy. So those are the, the spikes that we were getting. Let's go ahead and craft all of these. Actually, we can we can go ahead and craft everything that we have here and just see what the different sets do. I'm not really sure how we uh, do our our equipment, but all done. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to have to wait to get to the next enemies for those. Now we can go to equip and we'll go to here. Let's equip this full set. Oh, uh, this is cool. Okay, cool. Let's see what this other... And this is my storage, by the way. This is where all my my items start accumulating and stuff. Uh, let's see. Hey, this the, I discovered a new spell. Do you want to see it? Oh, okay. So, this is... This is actually uh, upgrades. Bl um, black Hole, Frost Mine, Electric Spear, Great Fireball, Teleport. Ice Shard, Azure Arrow, Inferno, or Electric Bolt. I think we're going to go... Slow Starters... Does it have AoE? Frost Mine. Black Hole. Let's go with Black Hole. Okay, so buy one booster pack. Cost 50. Oh, it's kind of random what you get? Okay, so we got Frost Mine. Okay, so... You don't necessarily get to pick what you get. All right, that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, so if we go to our spells here, hello, kitty cat. If we go to, does it give us the option to equip or anything? No, it doesn't. All right, I wonder if it's just going to be in our 
our inventory. You can press tab once you're in the game and it allows you to uh, to kind of switch up your stuff. This is where we were before. I can't go to afternoon or night. We can go to this place right here. Oh, that one's closed off to us as well. That's the tutorial level, the ancient forest. Let's go back here and see how far we can get. All right, so if I go to tab, I don't see where that uh, that ice spike was. I mean, that ice mine. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's go back to hub and see. All right. It's not available to equip in the hub. So all I can think of is it's going to be available in shops that we can buy it from. So it's sort of like meta progression. Anyway, let's see how far we could get here. Okay. So we need to get... I'm going to try to get into the shop as soon as it lets me. I'm also going to try to get dash really, really quick so that we don't have to really worry about uh, dodging so much. 38. We get two for each of these gems, which is pretty good. But we get a lot more when we go to those areas that actually have the, um, the crystals that you can break. There we go. Ah, took a hit. <laughs> All right, door opens to the shop. Let's go see about that right away. So am I stealing a little bit of life? Let's get hit on purpose. Okay, 27. Oh, wow, already healed. Dude, that seems OP. <laughs> that seems very OP. Okay, there's the slimes. When we get to the red slimes, we'll know what's up. All right, where is that shop? I think it was a little bit closer towards the center over here last time. Yeah, I should make sure to try to empty out my mana when possible, like when I'm just kiting like this. Because ultimately the, the currency will just, you know, get spread out all over the floor or whatever. I do need those gold coins when I can get them too. There's another spell here. This is good. Uh, ooh, dash already. That's awesome. Okay, let me actually change that to the space bar. Beautiful. Okay, well, that's one less thing that we have to buy. And we could come right through here and grab all of the currency. Very nice. Okay, where's this portal? There it is. That's okay. We healed. <laughs> we healed it up. That's the, this life steal is nice. Oh, hey, I got something new for you. See those statues? You can inter interact with them to enhance your gear. Doing so will level up your gear, which enhances its stats. This number should tell you how many tries you can use them. Each time you enter my shop, I will add one point to this number. What? As a treat, the effect will wear off by the time you go back to your base, though. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like a temporary buff. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Oh, I see. Bat Hat, 1 to 2 gives me double the MP. This gives me basic attack to 2. This gives me hit points. And this gives me... Bat Wings. Wait, it brings level 1 to 2 and MP 10 to 15. That's weird. It only gives a little bit of MP. Why wouldn't I get this MP? Let's go ahead and upgrade the hat. Okay, and next time we come in, we'll upgrade the other stuff. Let's see what we got in the shop, too. Okay, fireball, ice shotgun, we already like. Frost mine. Let's go with that, shall we? That's our new one. Lightning is actually okay, too. It's it's like, basically, it's it, it uses wherever your cursor is, it'll just use a blast right there but it's it's very very mana intensive i do have more mana now though it might be worth it um we're gonna try this takes 10 mana too. the 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 mine i think we're gonna save our money a little bit uh for the next time and when it opens up we'll just stay in this area okay so let's see how how the mine works 
Oh, uh, okay. So what it does is it takes a little while. Oh, this is actually pretty sweet. So you can just kind of go in a circle. You could just kind of go in a circle and it does slow them down too. This would be pretty nice with like a shotgun ability or even the uh, the fireball. Hmm. Okay. So I'm out of mana. Let's let my mana regenerate. Yeah, that's nice, man. That's nice. Like, you can really group some enemies up and... Yeah! <laughs> okay, alright! That's pretty good, man. Alright, we just got a lot of gems, though. But to use that ability, you can see it does take a good bit of mana. Alright. Watch this, man. Yeah, just let him come right on in. Does that actually contribute to my healing too? No, I don't think so. I think the the magic, like the the projectile spell that I have, does. Yeah, I haven't seen it work once like that. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, I need to get some of these. So it goes off after a little while, whether you're close enough or not. Or whether they're close enough or not. Interesting. I am out of mana now, though. I wonder if it actually will. Yeah, it gives me the uh, it gives me the jibs. That's pretty cool. Man, I need like I need to be able to burst three at a time. Would be like the ultimate. <laughs> I do like that ability a lot, though. It's definitely a mana sink, then, big time. Okay. Ah, okay, these are the red guys. Now, I really need to pay attention to these guys to see if I can get any of those, any of that, those, those items that I didn't know about before. Still nothing. I guess the doorway is at a different place every time. That's what it feels like anyway. Boy, I have a train of them, don't I? It seems like they just... When they go off the, the screen a little bit... I wonder if you have any iframes there. I couldn't tell whether or not I was going to be hit or not, but... And I'm thinking the dash upgrade, if you get it actually just allows you to dash more maybe even further i'm not sure it might just redo the 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 cooldown okay oh there's a new kind of enemy too okay let's use some many oh they actually fire projectiles okay <laughs> all right game just got much much harder the good news is i may have Did I get any new items? Man, <laughs> these things are tanky. Give me some mana, baby. Yeah, we definitely need some more power level, guys. Definitely. Okay, let's see what we can get. So... We've got Magic Shot Upgrade, Ice Shotgun, Dash, and Lightning. 
You know, I think I'm gonna re-roll these. I have plenty of money. So we got Fireball now, Electric Bolt, Inferno, ignites an area and burns who enters it. I think ultimately that would be a pretty good synergy. Ice and Fire, huh? Let's see. Oh, you can only re-roll what's left available. Great Fireball shoots a slow but powerful fireball that explodes on impact. That might work out too. Um, let's throw away Magic Shot, shall we? And we'll buy the Fireball. And that will be our main attack now. Okay. Also, let's upgrade. I think we want to go... Oh, so you can't upgrade more than once for that. Um, hit points? No. Let's get some more MP. That'll be as much as I can get. 75. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we can do now with this new fireball. Oh, so it does significantly more damage. Good. How's the mana cost on it? Can I spam it? I don't know yet. How's Inferno? Oh, that is cool too. Oh my god! <laughs> Things get intense though. I lost that mana really, really quick. Man. The portal opened again. We're gonna need it. I don't know if I got any new resources from any of these things, man. All I know is I gotta be careful because there is a lot of projectiles coming to me. <laughs> it's like popcorn! I, I actually don't see any of any kind of projectiles outside of what we already had. I'm trying to focus on killing some of the enemies that I haven't that I haven't really killed a bunch of to see I'm trying ice and fire mana management is really really hard to do though Okay, did we... Oh, it's a boss. All right. <laughs> Let's take care of him, shall we? Make sure our health is full. Oh, man. Let's slow him down. Make sure he's lit on fire. Oh, God, this is... We are, we are messing him up, man. We need some health. Quick. Oh, the roots got me. <laughs> the roots got me, but that build was great, man. All right. So, guys, this is a pretty good one. If you want to check out Spell Rain, it's available on. If you want to check out Spell Rain, you could go on to Steam and just download the demo. I have the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. We'll see you next time.